So here we are, we're back in Bergamo with another episode of The Bald Chef of Bergamo. And today we're gonna make pasta vajole, my own personal recipe for this that I got from my mother. Uh, it's not a typical Milanese dish, not a typical pasta fagioli from Bergamo, but it's an excellent flavor. Highly recommend, great soup, so let's get at it. Just a nice view of Bergamo, Chita Alta. Beautiful day like today. A little bit, uh, you know, let's say 55, 60 degrees right now, so it's not a, it's just not a, not a cold day, but it's, so it's still a good day, perfect day for pasta fagioli. So what we'll start with is taking some uh, carne trita macinata, um, you know, ground beef, and we will start to, to, to cook that down. Take that out, leave the, the fat that comes off of, the, of that to uh, serve as the, uh, the medium when we, when we uh, saute the vegetables. Um, obviously, get yourself a nice big uh, soup pot, saucepan, Dutch oven. This obviously is the greatest thing in the world. Get yourself one of these nice ones, Le Creuset, and once you do that, you'll never go back. So I've cooked down the meat. I'll take it out of the pan, as I stated, and then I'll add about three um, large uh, celery stalks, uh, three, three to four carrots, and a large white onion diced. And I'll slice up a couple tomatoes and add a little bit of tomato sauce to this and I'll show you how that looks so uh, once we get this thing rock and rolling. So I've let sweat the um, the vegetables, cooked down, the onions are nearly nearly perfect. I'm gonna add a few tomatoes, chopped and diced nicely, and then I'll add the the beans. And again, pasta vajoli is you know with beans. But we're going to use red kidney beans for this recipe, as well as some chechi, um, garbanzo beans, or, or chickpeas. And my wife likes those, and they kind of go together, kind of mix and match the beans. So we'll get the tomatoes in, then we'll add the beans, and um, then we'll add the broth and sauce. And we'll see what it looks like. So I've got the, the beans, the garbanzo beans, or chickpeas in there, with the tomatoes, the vegetables that have sweat down. The colors are beautiful vibrant colors and now I'm going to add the beef let that come in there and I'll stir that around and then we'll add the, uh, the the broth as well as the sauce and you'll see that here I'm just in a couple minutes let this cook for a little bit before we we add the broth just mix everything get a nice visual on this and then we'll add the broth So I've added about six cups of broth. Typically I do half chicken, half beef. Um, we're fortunate today to have some leftover broth when I was uh, doing my recipe for veal hamburgers. That's another whole other installment. Um, so I've got some of the veal broth in here as well, which will be an added, added bonus here. But again, use chicken and or beef mix. So now we're going to add about a teaspoon and a teaspoon and a half of pepper, maybe a little more. I like it a little spicy. Same for oregano. A little more. Crushed red pepper, again. I like to spice it up. And here's a little secret. Just a little bit. Adds a bit of flavor and some heat. That's enough. And then we will bring this up to, uh, to a boil and then let it simmer. And I'll show you the, the special ingredient that we add. Um, I've also added the, uh, the tomato sauce to this at this point, uh, but once it gets up to, uh, to a boil and, and we simmer it all, I'll add the special ingredient. So now it's time for the secret ingredient. If you're fortunate enough to get a large block of Parmigiano Reggiano or Grana Padana cheese, which is pretty frequent here in, uh, in Italy, you get these rinds, the ends, that you really, you really can't eat. And you, you shave down what you can and then you're left with these rinds and most people just toss these. You don't want to do that. They're packed with flavor, right? So you break, you slice them into small little chunks. You know, clean off the, clean off some any potential mold or any potential dirt that could be on that side. Cut into chunks, throw them in the freezer, and when you're ready, you know, you're making your soup. Take these and just toss them into your your soup, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna open this up. 
got my soup simmering, and I literally just drop those chunks in there, and then uh, the soup will cook for a couple hours. And when the, when the soup's ready, these little chunks of cheese will be packed with flavor. They'll take some of the flavor from the soup, but they'll also leave a lot of the, the flavor into, into the soup. So it's a great trick, highly recommended. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what the, how this turns out in, in a couple hours. So here's the finished article. The pasta fagioli is done. And you got the pasta that we've added. Obviously, I cooked that afterwards and added that to the pasta fagioli. And here is that, that block of uh, Parmesan Reggiano cheese. And as you can see, it's nice and soft. The flavor's there. And it's, you know, perfect. The perfect flavor there. Daddy, can I have some more? Buon appetito. Yes, Celeste, I'll give you some more pasta. What do you say? Is the pasta fagioli good?